Okay, as you can see, I drew in the, all the lines with the, the brown paint and just kind of etched it all in. I'm putting the detail before I do the painting because I want it to show through the other side. So I want the detail to show through the other side. So this, again, was with acrylic um, using the paper covered acrylic versus the plastic, blue plastic covered. <clears throat> The paper is definitely better um, to make the stencil if you're cutting it out. Leaving everything, all the paper on except for where these black lines are. That's where you cut and peel that paper off and then you spray it with a Rust-Oleum, the truck liner black paint. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these alcohol inks. And what's cool with these are they give a beautiful effect of glass. And they you get to make them bleed um, just using alcohol. And I just used just from um, the drugstore, pharmacy, whichever they have different, different um, percentages. So, and then what I like to do is I like to use these kind of paint brushes. All I did was filled this with alcohol. And when I you'll see when I bleed the ink with it. With this folk multi-purpose, I drew in all the brown lines. Where these lines are, I do not want to touch alcohol or alcohol paint because it will take it off and eat it away. So that's why having a nice groove in here see so how the, the ink won't cross that line. That's great. And you just put the alcohol ink like this. Now you can go ahead and spread it with your regular paintbrush if you want. And where you leave it piled up like this, like these um, areas that have more ink and seem darker, it will dry like that. So if you wanted like lines and creases of his clothing, you can just layer the ink. But I like to put a base first because I'll show you what I'll do next. Okay, I'll put a little more here. And I do want to bring in some, some orange. So I'll mix in a red or a pink to make that color. So I can continue to spread with this dry brush here. See, and then I can take some of that and just add it into these areas. And see how it's bleeding? I, think that, I don't know if you can see that beautiful effect there. See, if I mix them together here, it turns orange. Whereas here, it kind of left it pink. If you don't want it pink, you want it more orangey, just add yellow over it. And see how it separates? makes these cool designs. See, and then I can just bring it right over to that next one as well. This alcohol ink goes a long way. Okay. Or, to spread it faster, two and start the color process, you can use, this is either dipped in or you can squirt a little. See, and how it's separating and making bubbles and colors. Kind of bleeds together and kind of does a, look at that, isn't that cool? Um, 
another cool way to make the colors uh, bleed and it kind of does like a tie-dye effect that's what that one is looking like there is to squirt it so basically I just put alcohol in a squirt bottle and I'll just squirt it on and see what it's doing there and then you just keep layering it like when you squirt it it seems to take away some of the color and the pigment so I'm just going to add some in now I have alcohol just in here too so it kind of works as the water for your brush it'll clear all the color off of your brush and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the alcohol ink dry and I am going to paint a more solid color on top so this does look like glass bubbles and natural stained glass like the the bubbles and the ripples and all the beautiful markings of stained glass see look at that isn't that gorgeous I think I'm going to leave that if you get outside the line there, you just take alcohol and rub it out. This works as an eraser as well. So, then this is part of his wing. His belt here is a little more red. So I'll add. We'll leave that pretty vibrant there. Just keep blending it. It's got a very alcoholic smell. So I'm using the 91% um, and then the ink has a slight alcohol smell too so if you're sensitive open the window right now it's like 2 degrees so if it gets to be bothersome I'll turn on a fan it should be fine that might actually be a wing right there. Okay. And then just a little go in there. Isn't that beautiful? So right here, I just added some, not thinking, and that should be a wing. So all you have to do, either before it dries or after, is just wipe it off like that. If it does dry, all you have to do is put on a little alcohol and be able to take it off. So here, these are going to be blue. So we'll come in and we'll add some blue alcohol. Here and here. And right here in his neck. Right here. This. And all this. I do want to do variations of the blue. So I will put in some of this. Turn some of that blue a little purpley. Oh, which would go here too. Okay. 
Isn't that beautiful how that's turning like that? So now we just take the alcohol and I swirl it together. Fill it all in. See how it spreads. Goes far. Now it's cool. It's coming back and just squeezing this a little. See how it's pooling, making beautiful designs. Let's see is that. Here's an area I wanted to show with the alcohol ink. See if it's dry. See how this is dry? That's not right there, but this is. And this is. Let's see if this. That's not. Okay, so, but for this blue here, see it's completely dry. The cool thing about alcohol ink is it constantly moves. No matter whether it's dry or not, you can still manipulate it and move it around by adding alcohol to it. So it's good and bad to remember because it like if you loved a certain area, didn't want to touch it but accidentally sprinkled the alcohol ink on it, then it's going to reactivate it, move it around. But if you wanted to add more color to an area, isn't that beautiful? Like this. Pretty dry. Look at that. Reminds me of those um, pictures you got as a kid that already had the colors on there. All you had to do was add water, and then they come to life, and it's like watercolors painting. I loved those. Kind of how this stuff is. You just add the alcohol to reactivate it. So. Just adding alcohol. Now if you added alcohol over or alcohol ink over top of the alcohol where it's wet, it'll do cool things too. See that? You can even use your finger if you wanted. And come back and spray it. Nickel. So these areas here. We activate it. Beautiful, huh? Or sometimes see how the alcohol just separates it. I had alcohol on this brush. And it kind of just kind of erases it. You can take some from there and add it. Spray. See what it does. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah.